my guys, this is a progress update video and I just realized I haven't even unlocked PVP yet. Hi, welcome back to another Blue Archive video. My name is Lace and today I kind of wanted to do like a progression check-in. I wanted to show you guys what came out of my reroll hell because it certainly was reroll hell and then make some comparisons, right? Because like I feel like I am on the lagging end, especially because like I'm only at level 20. I feel like I feel like everybody is at least like level 25 or 30 now and I'm just being left behind. And so I do want to preface this video by saying I have been very, very casual with this game. And so my dudes, don't judge me because honestly, I like playing this more as like a waifu collector, kind of like just chilling and not having to worry about like clan battles and arena and stuff. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good. But regardless, let's go on and have a look at what we settled for in terms of re-rolling. And so guys, as you can see, these are my three stars. However, they weren't all as part of the re-rolls. And so what I did settle for was the Haruna, Iori, and Hibiki, which actually took hours and hours, days actually, let's say, let's call it days. And then so the Shiroko as well as the Sumire actually came out in the next, I believe, like 50 or so pulls. And so I think I've won out, uh, like I'm very, very happy with this starter. This account is most certainly what I wanted. I wanted the Iori, Hibiki, and Haruna. But on top of that, I was also able to get Shiroko, who I really like. I really love her design. And so as you guys can see, my gemmies are quite low. I only have one temple left. And that is because I kind of got stuck in progression we can talk about that later. But yeah, to summarize, for me personally, I got Haruna, Iori, and Hibiki. And then I rolled about another 50 times to get the Shiroko, the Sumire, but also the Tsubaki. All right, and so let me flick through to the story itself so you guys can see where I am up to in terms of campaign. Because personally, I have a lot to talk about this. Oh my god. <laughs> to be honest, I got hard stuck pretty hard. And so as you guys can see, I am only up to the fourth area. So if I scroll back, you will see that I would... No, well, I didn't even manage to clear 3-3 three, three hard to get the Shiroko shards. So honestly, that is pretty depressing. And like 4-4, four, four, oh sorry, 4-2, this just isn't really that far. For me personally, I actually did not have any other tanks aside from Yuka. And as you guys know, from area 4, this is where we start seeing our yellow enemies and they really, really hurt your Yuka. And so as you can see over here, Yuka, yellow, yellow does extra damage to her. And so she was just getting chunked. However, in the recent days, I have been progressing more and more because I forgot about Junko over here. So on JP, I actually struggled at the same spot about area four. And the answer to area four is actually Junko. It's not only Junko, it's not always Junko, but it's essentially a yellow AOE DPS. And so if I click into Junko, you're gonna see attack type piercing by her EX skill. She fires in a line, does a lot of AOE damage, and generally speaking, she will one hit everything. And so if you guys are also stuck at about the same point, then I would highly, highly recommend Junko. As you guys can see, all of her skills are still at level one. She doesn't even have any equips. But what was most important was actually the levels. Ah. I completely forgot how impactful the levels were in this game. And so to really, really illustrate that, let me go to another character that is underleveled. So we've got Kayoko over here, but I don't really want to level her. I do want to level my Mutsuki because I, I think that I will be using her very, very soon. And so my guys, just have a look at the stat increases. I'm going to auto select. We're going from level 12 to level 20. And she is gaining freaking 1.5k HP from 4.3. That is about like a 30 to 40% gain. On top of that, if we have a look at the attack stat, 418 up to 570. I believe that's also about like a 30 to 40% gain in stats. That's that's honestly really freaking nuts. And so I think what was really holding me back was the fact that I was only level 20 or rather lower than 20. And so that means that my characters could only be as high as I was, which was about like 16, 17 when I was struggling. However, when I hit level 20 and then I leveled Junko, I started being able to progress past like my previous choke point. But otherwise, in terms of progression, like we've got the hat, it gives you 5% attack which is nice so if we have a look at the attack 418 five percent would be about like 20 attack which is like it's not game breaking but it is certainly impactful all right and so let's have one last look at the collection honestly i am missing quite a few key units i'm missing Serika, i'm missing akane i'm missing nononi and obviously a whole bunch of the three stars as well but I'm not too worried. As long as I can progress, as long as I can have fun, I I'm pretty good. Okay, guys, the next thing I want to talk about is the recruitment. So as you can see, I did like push my pity up to 86 recruitment points. However, I have to respect the fact that it is a sunk cost. I have to leave them 
there, I can't go all the way to pity. And honestly, you guys should not be pulling on this banner. This banner actually is, is just not that great. Whilst Hoshino is quite strong, she is a really, really strong yellow tank. She is in fact actually farmable as well as Shiroko actually. And so just quickly about Shiroko, unfortunately, she does not really have a place in the meta right now because she is like a really, really strong single target red DPS. However, when the red raids come out, hopefully she will have a place. But like right now, I'm unfortunately not finding much use for the Shiroko. She just is not like single target attackers is just not that great in story clearing. But honestly, freaking hell guys, like who would have thought that I would get cucked in story mode? I seriously think that I did not need to go recruit to actually finish up the story. And to be honest, it's I, I, I probably didn't need to. All right, guys, I'll admit it. I just had itchy fingers. <laughs> That's really it. I my fingers were itchy as hell. All right. And so in terms of bounty and all of these ones over here, I think I've only, yeah, I've only unlocked up to overpass D and I haven't been able to complete it yet. I remember I did try to clear it yesterday. However, I got freaking stomped and I can't remember why, but like I might try again today. But in a nutshell, guys, you should be trying to clear the highest one. And, and the reason is because you can attempt it. And if you do fail, you won't use up one of these tickets over here. But yeah, for this stage, for the D stage, for all of these different bounties, I, I got my ass handed to me. And so, but I I'm just chilling. So it's okay. Otherwise, the game is going great, to be honest. Like if I hop into the cafe, it's just chilling. <laughs> this game really is like the epitome of chilling. Just the fact that we're able to like skip so many stages and use the sweep function, it leaves us time to like read through the stories. And I really, really like that. But otherwise, in terms of progress, I don't think there's actually too much left to show you guys because it really is all in like building up the students. These are all of the different characters that I've built up so far. Um, Kotama and Kayoko, I haven't been using too much. On the other hand, Fuka, I do see her over here. If there is a requirement for AOE healing, I will definitely be juicing her up. But otherwise, I don't really see any anyone else that I really, really need. And so yeah, this lineup, it's fine. It's <laughs> honestly, it's more than fine. However, actually seeing Shun over here, there is kind of something I do want to talk about. And that is, I kind of wish that instead of Harna, I went for a Shun instead. But but honestly, by then it was hours and hours and I was like, frick, I am so settling. And the main reason is just because Shun is not farmable. I don't know if she will become farmable, but like right now, Harna is farmable, I believe via two stages. Shun is just straight up not farmable. However, with that being said though, Harna, if you do try to get her via shard farming, it's probably going to take you about two months. So really, I don't regret it. But yeah, that's the state of the students over there. Honestly, like you guys, like, let me know how you guys are going. Are you guys level 20? Because again, I feel like I am really, really behind. I don't know, even though I haven't been able to like successfully clear or even push story, I have actually been dumping my stamina into all of the different hard modes just to make sure that I can get that uh, commander captain EXP. Like as you can see, zero out of three for all three star ones because it just takes no time at all. It is freaking great. Oopsie daisy, uh, that actually should be my first priority. So uh, let's just get that one over there. And luckily I leveled, so let's just go sweep again. God, I love sweeping function. Guys, I know that I've been dumping all of my stamina into the hard modes, but like this is from a very, very casual point of view. I'm just trying to push my account level. I would say that in the first three or four areas, the only hard shards really worth farming for are probably Yuka over here. And then you got Serika over here. And then you got Junko over here. And so for area three, you got Shiroko. And then area four, which I can't see, you got Yuka again. From a hard stage perspective, it's gonna be Yuka and it's gonna be Shiroko mainly. But again, as you guys can tell, I've been very, very casual about it. All right, so otherwise, I think that's kind of it. Hopefully, this is just going to be a short, quick update of the account. To be honest, I just really wanted to share the fact that, oh, reroll hell. That This really, really was a reroll hell. I'm personally so happy that I finally settled on something and I'm just playing the game because these 2% or 2.5% rates, they, they really do not feel like it. And so with that being said, I do want to share one more thing with you guys. And that is if you go to the menu button, menu tab account, and then you scroll down to the very, very bottom, you will see a coupon button. So click continue here. And then after it loads, you'll see, please enter a correct coupon number. And so we have this one right here. Welcome to Kivotos 2021. Hit redeem and hopefully you guys will be able to get some goodies. I've already redeemed it. So this is not going to work, but like, actually, you know what? Let me try. And see. so as you can see here, this coupon has already been used. I'm not lying. This is something that is legit. There are going to be two more codes as we go into the weekend. And so keep your eyes peeled. But otherwise, I don't have anything left to share. This has been honestly probably one of my most enjoyable experiences just because I've taken it so casually. I don't know about you guys, but like I'm so sick of like, oh my God, we've got to refresh three times a day to make sure that we hit PVP 
on day one just so we can actually climb up all of the ranks and then like this and that and i'm just like bruh but yeah that's my story my blue archive story i'm sorry if it was a boring story but honestly i want to see where you guys are up to i want to see how you guys are feeling about this game are you guys going all hardcore have you guys actually hit like rank 27 or 33 or something like that or otherwise are you guys chilling like me and somehow getting roadblock on freaking chapter four and so let me know how you guys are going down in the comments below and honestly i would really appreciate that because it means you've watched up until the end of the video and so thank you guys so much but otherwise if you have enjoyed this video please Please consider a like on the video and if you haven't already hit the sub button but otherwise as the darling Haruna once said oh my god thank god you're freaking finally home all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye